Welcome to Culinary Kids. Today, we'll be making hot dogs in crescent rolls. This is something you could make for your family, and you could make this for dinner or for lunch. And I'll show you several different varieties of ways to make hot dogs in crescent rolls. Also, in the middle of this video, there is a special treat you can make. The great thing about hot dogs and crescent rolls is that the hot dogs usually come in packages of eight, as do crescent rolls. So you really could make eight of these if you wish. Let's get started making hot dogs in crescent rolls. To make your hot dog in a crescent roll, you're going to need a crescent roll dough, some cheese, hot dogs, and you can use chicken dogs, turkey dogs, beef, pork, sausage, whatever dogs you feel, even gluten-free, and there is gluten-free crescent dough, uh, possibly a knife, a cutting board, and a baking tray to put them in the oven. Let's start by preheating the oven to 375 degrees. Unroll the crescent dough and you'll see there that the dough is in triangle shapes. So let's take these apart where they already have the markings. Now, if you're not using a knife and this way is just fine, Put some shredded cheese, uh, it could be a maybe two teaspoons to a tablespoon on one of the triangles of crescent dough. Then place the hot dog at the long end of the triangle where it's the widest part here. Very gently roll, not squeezing it together, the crescent dough into the hot dog. If you are allowed to use a knife, take the knife and very carefully cut a small slit in the hot dog. Open it up so it makes a little pocket. You don't want to cut all the way through. For this cut hot dog, I'm placing a half a piece of American cheese folded up in the slit. Then once again, place it on the long end of the triangle and roll the hot dog up very gently. You don't have to squeeze it. Leaving the cheese facing up. Place it on your baking tray. Now we'll bake it in our oven for about 12 to 15 minutes at 375 degrees. While the hot dogs are baking, you may have noticed I only made two hot dogs. Now your family might be much bigger than mine, but I have lots of leftover crescent dough and I really need to use it. So I thought it would be fun to make dessert. For the dessert, you'll need the leftover crescent dough, some chocolate chips, any brand, I'm using milk, marshmallows if you like them, and a banana and the leftover crescent dough. So I've cut my banana in half and then in half long ways again, and I'll lay it at the end of the crescent dough, adding a few chocolate chips next to it and a few marshmallows on this one. And then we'll roll it up just like we did the hot dogs. Let's do one more. Now, what if you don't like banana? What if you prefer apple? Well, you could chop up an apple and add some cinnamon sugar and roll it up the same exact way. You could also do this with a canned uh, pie filling. So you could make cherry if you wish, apple. 
there's quite a few varieties. If you do make the apple, you may want to sprinkle it with some uh, sugar before you bake it. These will also bake in the oven for about 12 to 15 minutes at 375 degrees. Mmm. Here are finished hot dogs fresh from the oven. They did take about uh, uh, 13 to 14 minutes to bake, so 12 to 15 is a good judge. And now, how do you eat the hot dogs? Well, because they're already wrapped up in a great holder with the crescent dough, you just pick them up and start to eat them. But what if you want something to dip in? So on your plate, you could put ketchup, mustard, some warm chili. I have some no bean chili. And you just pick up your hot dog and start eating. I'm going to cut this one in half so you can see the cheese inside. And you can see it has some mm, yummy cheese inside. And I would say one to two hot dogs for adults, one hot dog for kids. You have a package of eight hot dogs and eight crescent rolls. You could feed your whole family on just those two items with the cheese. And I hope you have enjoyed making this hot dog in a crescent roll. I'm going to show you in a few minutes the dessert, but I have a special bonus feature today, and I'm going to show you that now. This bonus hot dog in a crescent roll might be something that the grown-ups would really like. You need some cream cheese, some uh, no bean chili, a hot dog, and a crescent roll. Let's get started. About a spoonful of the cream cheese and spread it out at the bottom of the um, crescent dough. <clears throat> And then about a spoon of the no bean chili. Just like the other hot dogs, we'll roll this up gently. It will come out the ends. And now it's ready to bake 375 for 12 to 15 minutes. Our banana dessert has just come out of the oven. I'm going to slice it open. You don't have to. Just to show you what the inside looks like. Mmm. Ooey gooey banana, nice and warm. Marshmallows, chocolate chips. It is uh, actually a banana boat in a crescent roll. I hope you enjoyed this dessert. This is our bonus hot dog. About a minute before... The hot dog was done in the crescent dough with the cream cheese and chili. I put a little bit of shredded cheddar on top of it to melt in the oven for that last minute. Well, I hope you enjoy all these different variations of hot dogs in crescent rolls. I'll see you next time on Culinary Kids.